Hi guys, and today I'm going to show you how to run SimCity 2000 on modern computers. The game basically works on all Windows OS S, even 64-bit Windows OS S. But there is one problem, the installer of the SimCity 2000 is 16-bit, which doesn't work on most modern computers. So we need to get a 32-bit installer to get it working on modern systems. First of all, you need to download two files, one is a generic 32-bit installer, and the second is a modified SimCity 2000EXE that works as a compatibility patch. Now let's go to the tutorial proper. Here are the two files plus the SimCity 2000 Windows 95 installer. First, let's see what happens when we open the original setup file of SimCity 2000. This is what happens. Even when we use compatibility mode, nothing happens. Boom. Doesn't work. Let me turn off compatibility mode for that installer. And after that, we are going to install SimCity 2000 on our computer. First, we copy the 32-bit generic installer to the SimCity 2000 installer's directory. After that, we are going to install SimCity 2000 on our computer. It should work. Boom. Installer is working. Let's set up everything. We just successfully installed SimCity 2000 on our computer. Now, there's one last thing we need to do. Now, we are going to apply that compatibility patch to our SimCity 2000. Copy this modified exe to the SimCity 2000 directory which is located at program files backslash maxes. But first, backup the original exe in case something goes wrong. After that, copy and paste the exe to the directory. Now it's done, we can now open the game. Disregard that warning. That error appears, because we're running on 32-bit color depth. About the intro movie, we are going to that in a moment. Boom. The game launched successfully without any problems. Now, let's load up a city, since I'm too lazy to make my own right now. I'm going to choose London as the city I'm going to load. Whoa. It loaded up without any problem. Now, let's take a look at it. Wow. It's actually a pretty good city. This would be even better if we loaded up the right textures for it. Let's quit the game for now. Ain't gonna save that game. Now. For the last step, we are going to enable the intro movie plus the other goodies. Make sure that you have the CD or the ISO of SimCity 2000 to access the goodies. Here is my ISO of SimCity 2000 mounted through a virtual CD-ROM drive. This is my ISO of the special edition of SimCity 2000. Now back to the tutorial proper. First, open up Regedit. Then look up for H key current user then software then maxes then SimCity 2000 then paths. Replace the value of goodas from that directory to your CD-ROM drive. This will make the intro movie and the goodas work. Now, we are all set. Launch the game one more time, and see the intro movie in its full glory. Let's skip the second part of that intro. Now we will check if Will TV works. Never mind then. As far as I know. Will TV needs the CD-ROM for it to work. And that's it for now. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. As always, see you in the next video. Bye.